I recently thrifted this jumpsuit because I love the pattern, but because it's a size large, I have to resize it down to a size small. In this initial fitting, I want to assess the changes and goals for the jumpsuit. The crotch and waist are too long and need to be shortened. The bodice is too wide and needs to be taken in. Hopefully I can do this from the side seam. The neckline is just right and I don't want to change it. Love that this jumpsuit has pockets and I definitely want to keep them. I want to keep the zipper closure in the back but just take it up to the new waistline. I'm going to start by seam ripping all the pieces of the jumpsuit. Now I'm marking the new waistline on the bodice and the pants. Before I can piece these back together, I need to make all separate changes to the top and the bottoms first. Since the waistline is coming up, I'm going to need to remake the darts on the front of the jumpsuit. I'm going to mark the length and width of the darts before I pin them and sew them shut. To resize the crotch, I'm using the opposite pant leg to trace the shape of the crotch at my desired height. Then I'm going to sew the two pant legs together with their new front and back seams. To test the zipper closure, I'm pinning the zipper into the back seam. Then I'm reopening the back seam so that the zipper is accessible. This ensures that the zipper will stay even throughout the fitting process. Now for the top. I wanted to be able to take in the top without having to undo the side seam. To do this, I turned the top inside out. I aligned and pinned the two pieces together in order to maintain the gradual curve from the front piece to the side panel. I marked out a new seam and then sewed it.
I'll cut away the excess fabric and finish off the edges later in the project. Finally, I pinned the top and bottom pieces together and had a second fitting to see how the changes were coming along. One of the darts needs to be redone. The bottoms still need to come up a bit more, which means I'll also need to reposition the zipper in the back. The neckline hadn't been sitting where I wanted it to be, so I'll need to shorten the straps. First, I'm going to remake the dart so that the fabric is aligned for the pocket. This type of alteration is also why I waited until the very end to put in the pockets. For the new pocket, I'm using the opposite pocket to trace the shape for the pocket opening. After measuring out ample seam allowance, I'm pinning the pocket and then sewing it to the pant leg and into the side seam. For the straps, I had to undo the seam under the neckline. Then I pulled the strap down into the opening before sewing it shut. Using remnant fabric, I decided to make new belt loops to replace the old ones. I'm marking out about a quarter inch margin before I pin and sew it shut right sides together. I'm using a loop turner to turn the fabric inside out. Then I hand sewed the belt loops onto the jumpsuit. To reposition the zipper, I'm unpinning it from the center back seam before I go in and mark out the new seam. Then I pin the zipper into the new center back seam. Using a zipper foot, I'm sewing the zipper to the jumpsuit. Let's see how the jumpsuit turned out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. Please consider liking and subscribing so that this channel might eventually achieve partner status.